The new Line 1 subway extension is just over a week away from opening. It'll feature six new stops, including three in Vaughan. But some say it doesn't offer a cost-effective solution for those who would access it, since riders using York Regional Transit or Viva would have to get to the subway line by paying double fare. I'm not saying absolutely remove the wall. What I am saying is that there is a fair share that needs to be paid, but that fair share is not only for York Region residents going to Toronto, but economic studies have shown that there are people from Toronto who are paying the double fare going into York Region. Now, TTC and GO riders who use both services will enjoy discounted fares starting in January. And Fred Weingus with the Congestion Relief Committee wants to see the same thing for those who hop on a regional bus to access those new TTC stations in Vaughan. Metrolinx, which operates Presto's payment system, says they are, are well, open to the idea. How long could it be before folks in that area see something like that? If you give me a moment, I'll just quickly get my crystal ball out and then I say how long it just it'll seems take. like something that should have been yeah. discussed as with the along with the opening of this extension. Now, uh, look, we've got if, if you ask me about integrated fares and when we should have reached a position on integrated fares across the region, I would say we should have done this years and years and years and years ago. This is a very complicated topic though, includes many decision makers, and we will continue to push this as quickly as possible. We're getting the Presto system in place. That will allow us technically to do fare integration. The conversation and, and really the negotiation will be between all these municipalities the provincial government and the city to figure out what's a fair fair integration model so that no no one is financially burdened in one way or another and so that those negotiations are going on now Metrolinx already has fare integration deals in place with several local transit systems including Mississauga, Brampton, Durham and York Region among others. They say the challenge is figuring out who will bear the brunt of the cost for offering a discount. The TTC GO partnership set to go into effect early next year is only made possible thanks to provincial funding. Now, Weingus, who is with that congestion relief committee, worries that failing to remove the extra fare will mean that commuters in Vaughan will simply avoid going to those three stops uh, on the new extension and instead drive to a stop within the Toronto limits because it would be cheaper to pay for parking than to pay double fare.